all the way down up to the top of the arena in the arena the and I think I put it up there and put it by and that could be costly for them but it's Ellie coming back on her own and Agro taking and Agro taking the ball 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 and Agro taking
final race of a good break by England here in lane one. Being chased by Ireland as they turn at the top. The England hand is in the net in first place as they come back down now for the Pickups. All in good pace. He is easily in the middle and Italy going to go through without pulling back the pace. And Italy take the lead away to the top. It's Italy leading it out from England. A bit of difficulty for Ireland is going to delay them. Wales on the far side with the ball down, but it's Italy now taking the lead at the halfway stage as they come in for the next of the changeovers. It is a changeover for Italy, but it's gone on the ground. England stay clean, Northern Ireland stay clean on the far side. England leading it out to the top. This is Ryder number three as they get the pudding at the top. And it's England coming down now with a masterful lead. No other half hands on the line at this time. England with an age of a lead as they head away with the hat band. England on the way to the top, Ireland now recovered and second rider right away on the chase for Ireland with the other hat bands now arriving on the line with England coming down for their collection and the first of part three is the final, they take the win it's hat bands away in the middle, Italy from Wales, from France from Northern Ireland on the far side and Ireland the work being really hard to pull back on that deficit of the stage, but it's a pick by Wales on the far side, and I think Wales could just get hit by Italy, not quite sure. Very, very tight between Wales and Italy. Then we have France, and we have Norway. And away we go, Wales get the jump on the far side, led out by England and now Ireland making back the lead but it's going to be a massive changeover for Ireland. He's missing one of the rings and he's going to have to go back and it's Italy coming down now for the changeover and it goes wrong for Italy. Wales back in the lead again now from England as they head to the top. It's Wales leading it out from England to the top and the changeover is good for England. It's gone wrong for Wales on the far side and this is the second race in a row that England come home uncontested in the race. Let's see what happens later on. Who's going to recover fastest? And at the top they still seem to be digging back in order. On the far side coming down now it is a race on between France and Italy and that's the second time in a row that that pony has taken it on the line. Italy could have taken up from France really tight as Wales come down to complete then come Northern Ireland. Wales with the jump on the far side. This one is socks and buckles because they're leading to the top. First on to the ground is the Irish driver as the right handed kick and away we go for home. On the run down for home it's being led out by Wales on the far side. Italy next door to them but it's all in the changeovers at this stage and those five get away good. Northern Ireland trails slightly at this stage it's Wales in the lead at the top. Wales get the quick in first place, then they're followed by England and Ireland back into the fray at this stage. On the far side we're on rider number three of four and away they go England take the lead from Ireland and Wales. England still in the lead but Ireland on the ground with them at the top and they're going to pick just in good time. The lid is slip but both riders get away, the Irish rider, rider stronger on the ground as we come down for the final changeover. Ireland get it away and they push for it. Wales in third place in the far side. On the ground at the top, left handed picking them out and away we go at the top and coming back down. It is Ireland coming for the body and in Ireland take the first of the wins in this competition or in this part being the finals. It's Ireland from England to Wales on the far side and we have three of the other teams still trying to complete. because all they have to do is flick it up and they're back in the fray. Big changeovers coming here and it's big for Ireland and for England and Wales not letting them away in lane one. In lane one. It's on the ground for Italy on the far side as they come back around and correct but it's Ireland leading it out at the stage rider three away for Ireland. Three away for England and for Wales in lane one. It's a difficulty for France and away they go with rider number two but coming back down now and it's going to be a hat band at this stage it's Ireland hat band away in the middle following them it's England in second place and Wales not going to let anyone away at this stage it's on the ground for Northern Ireland but at the interest end of this it's Ireland coming down for the pick Ireland stay clean and it's going to be another points back for Ireland it may be done one by one but you can still get there it's Ireland from England then we have Wales to complete Italy on the far side now, our next stop is France, put it on the ground and making it difficult for 
go for pony players as the riders make their way to the top wall. Working hard as they get the turn first just to hit his fire on the far side. As they make their way back down now through the bending poles for the connection on the way upfield. And it's England turn, but Ireland turn short for them. We're heading back up now with England and Ireland together on the far side. Italy doing well here on this side with Wales, France, and then Northern Ireland have connected, but it's going to be in the race home as they leave the top. It's Ireland leading it out now from the France has gone back, so on this side it's going to be competitive. Ireland on the far side and taking it from Italy down for Wales, England and then turn. Then they have Northern Ireland coming down. Could it be significant? They get a good score here in this one if they push for home. And Northern Ireland take next place with and the start. And away we go. Here we go with. Agility Aces is the stopper here in lane one. Is everyone else clear? Certainly. Italy are England three on the far side and away they go. Coming back down now, it is Riders number two as they put their feet on the stones. It's Team Frisley. Team for England on the far side. A little difficulty for France. It's Italy leading it out from England on the far side. Northern Ireland in second. Then we have Wales in fourth as they hit to the top. It's good through the stones by Italy, Northern Ireland and England on the far side. Everyone else is on the chase now as they head to the top. Coming down as they sprint through the stones. It's England on the far side. Side Italy on this side. It's Italy going to push for home if you get to get under saddle. Italy taking the win from England. Northern Ireland on the far side. Then we Wales coming down to complete. And it's, it, it's France slipping over the stones quite efficiently. Ireland. And Ireland do it the other direction as they can. And off for the pick and the turn. And it's Ireland pushing it on, being urged on here from the side and being urged on from the other side. As Ireland push it on now for Mug 3 and they're opening the gap on England in this one. It's Ireland heading up from England, turning then it's Italy, Wales and France all together on the far side as Riders number 2. Into the arena, big speedy corners for both teams as they turn. Ireland is a little a wide on the turn, England a little tighter as we hit back up. It's four rocks for England but stays in place. Very tight now between Ireland and England and there's still it's Italy, Wales and France just behind with the front two are gaining ground. It's Ireland stretching it out now. And away goes rider number three, rider number three for England. Then we have Italy, Wales, France and Northern Ireland on the far side and they're all in play. It's Ireland pushing hard now for the lead. Ireland pushing it up from England and the lead changing between Italy, Wales and France on the far side. They're turned fourth and fifth. As Ireland round for the final ones of the put on for the Imago, they're still home level as we head away now on the changeover. It's taking them a slight lead on Ireland as they turn on the first pole. Pushing back down now for the second put ons, and I think all eyes are going to be glued on this one as they head back up. Hands on the second pole together as they push down now for the put on. Turning back up, feeling we're going back up to pole number three. They're being urged on from this side and from the far side. Who's going to take the risk? And it's going to be a push for all. My lord, who's going to take it? As Northern Ireland are resting in the sunshine, in the shade, on the grass, at the top of the arena. Away we go for the puddings. And away we go to the top now. It's being led out by Italy and England. And Wales on the far side as riders number two come back down the field. It's a good pudding from England and Wales. And then we have uh, Italy in the lead. Italy take the changeover on the way back up the field. It's Italy from England and Wales as it goes on the ground from Ireland in the middle. France in a little bit of difficulty and the half bands come from the top. The first of the half bands is coming from Italy. Italy taking the win in this one as England come back down to play in second spot from Wales on the far side. Then we have France not yet completing. Ireland are going to come down on the scores. Northern Ireland have lost the pony at the top. Here come Ireland for fourth place in this one. With France recovering on the and away we go. Good break by Ireland as they weave in and out the poles on the way up to collect the poles from the postman at the top inside turn for Ireland and England and they head back towards the start line. Ireland leading out from England, then we have Italy just behind as they head to the top. It's Riders number two as they weave in and out and they turn at the top again inside turn for Ireland. 
On the quicker one around the back for England and the safer one as they head for home. Back down through the bending toes, keeping control of the glory and right on number three away for Ireland and Italy. Then we have England and Wales. Northern Ireland is following fast and we have France on the way up but the pole is down for Ireland. Who's in the lead at this stage? It's Italy on the inside turn. It's on the way back now with the half-band rider for all the third rider for Italy as they come back down now. Change over to England and England away in the lead. Wales on the far side with Italy chasing. England in the lead at the top. Wales gaining ground on them as the evening go around the back. Wales go around the back this night on Trinity as they push for home. They're going to take it closer with the stage as they push for home. So it's going to lead it to Wales on the far side. Wales on the far side with England in second place. Still leave Italy in third. Northern Ireland and still difficulties for Ireland. Uh, something's gone wrong on field. This one of the turnovers or a little bit of the post came out of the bag. France still in play in lane one. As they come down now for replacement of the ball is good. It's good for Italy. Ireland on the far side. England delayed somewhat. So it's Ireland on the way to the top. Will the unthinkable happen here as Ireland leads the top of the lead. Followed by Italy on the far side. Then we have France as play. It's Ireland come down. They've got the pick. As they're coming down for the put on. And they just jostle. And it's a good put on by Ireland. A great win. This is good. It'll be the fight back. England on the far side. Italy on the far side. Northern Ireland with a little bit of difficulty as they rebound their pony and they're going to have to head back in here for rider number three. Then we have England coming in in third place, wheels in fourth. And unfortunately there's a... So away goes Ireland on the far side. And Ireland taking the lead on the far side, followed by England in second place. And that big changeover, look at the way this goes. My word, how it can work when it works right. Ireland on the way down. Ireland taking the lead. Tom England puts the hands together because that is absolutely circulating. Wales and Italy neck and neck, but I think Wales took back a point. On Italy for the Singing in the bank on the far side. Let's see what happens in the final race. There's always pride left in these ones. not letting it away on the far side. Big turn for England as they head back down now and they're really going to pump it out to show what they can do. It's going to be big changeovers all around as out go the next riders. Rider number two to the top, England lead it out now from Italy, Ireland and Wales as they turn. The battle is in the middle between Italy and Wales. On the far side it's England doing what they did all day and they lead it out in Italy currently in third place. Wales are in fourth. That's where the battle of this race is on. Ireland with a little difficulty. England like they did as I say all day but it's really his turn at the top. It's going to be Italy on this one if they can stay clean. England on the far side and Italy on this side as they head to the top. And England, hat band rider, turning at the top for the final put in of the 2019 games. Down they come for the collection. Italy are pushing out from Wales. England take the title. England are the new European team champions. 2019 finishing just behind them. It's Thank you. 